What's up there? This is Mr. Mike Kaufman with a tutorial that I am super fired up about, which is how to create video feedback on your student work using Screencastify and Google Classroom. And why I love this tip so much is because I love the power of feedback. I know it's one of those high yield learning strategies that really uh, kicks up student learning. And I love leveraging technology to do so. And if you're a follower of this channel, you know, and you've seen these videos uh, using different tools, again, to just improve feedback um, and to improve student learning through better feedback. And this video, I think, tops them all with creating video feedback easily with just a couple clicks using Screencastify and Google Classroom. So let's dig in. All right, so first step, what you wanna do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Screencastify and then click Add to Chrome. Now I've already done it. Um, as you do it, just follow the prompts, give the permissions and so forth. Now note the first time after adding Screencastify that you go to use it, which is right up there in my Chrome window. I will ask for just a couple more steps to finish the setup. You only have to do that one time and it doesn't take more than a minute. All right, so now you've got Screencastify added. You wanna to go to Classroom and open up the assignment and open up the student work. Now from here, what you're gonna do is click on the Screencastify icon and a couple things to point out, right? You wanna choose desktop because you wanna be able to create a screen recording of what's going on in your desktop. If you have an external microphone, there's where you can choose it. And then you wanna make a choice on whether to have yourself in a webcam or not. Now you can turn it off, which is the default, or turn it on. Now for me, I love having the webcam on because I think it's important to have the students be able to see you, uh, to be able to look into the camera as you're giving some of that feedback to build a little bit of that connection as Again, you're giving some feedback to the student work, but again, it's your personal preference, what you wanna do. And then I'm gonna click record. It's gonna ask me whether I wanna do the entire screen or the application window. I'm gonna stick with the entire screen and then click share, and it's gonna count me in. Three, two, one. From here, once the video starts, you wanna get in there and give feedback to your students. For example, you might highlight a topic sentence and say, Hello, student A. I think you did a great job with topic sentence. You used some strong vor verbs, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can couple that comment with you, if you want, with a comment from the comment bank. Um, there's a video up above right now that shows you how to use the classroom comment bank if you're not sure. Right, add a comment bank and then continue to go through right, giving feedback to your student work. Again, adding comments or not up to you right, and what you want to do. Then when you are done, simply click stop sharing. It's going to open up a new tab. From here, once the video starts, you want to and get in it's there and going get... to And it's going to upload it to Drive. Notice it takes a second. This is about a 40 second video and it took just a second to upload. I'm gonna click copy link. I'm gonna go back into classroom and paste it into private comments and post. And that's it. My student now has a link to the video of the feedback I'm giving directly on their work. Now I wanna show you another example with a student image that they've uploaded to show you a cool feature with Screencastify. So the same thing, I've got my student work. I'm going to click to open up Screencastify, click record. I'm going to share my entire screen, wait for the count Three, in. Two, one. And what I love here is as I'm going over student work, I can go down there and choose my pencil and a color and I can then highlight certain parts of the student work. Right, so I'm drawing on their work on the video, but not actually drawing on their work, right? And I can also add comments, click back on my pen, and I can also add my comments as well, highlight an area, and use my canned comments, whatever it is that I wanna do. I can erase right, parts of my drawing and so forth. Again, just giving very specific feedback through the video form, and then click stop sharing when I'm done. It's gonna open it up in another and tab. Here is loads it up to drive in just a couple seconds. Copy the link, paste it into the private comment, click post, and there it is. Now let's take a look at what this looks like from the student point of view. So over here in this window, I have a student account open. And here's an example of a link from a video that I created giving feedback to student A. They're gonna click and they're gonna be able to then All right, nice job here, uh, student A. watch the video and see as I'm giving feedback what exactly it is I'm talking about to be able to see my face again to really improve that feedback. 
A couple things to consider with Screencastify. One is it does take a second for the video to upload, right? You saw how quick it was in real time for those videos that were around, you know, 40, 45 seconds. If you're giving feedback, which might take two or three minutes, just know that it will take a couple of seconds for it to upload. Second thing to consider is that the default free account for Screencastify has two limitations. One is that the videos are uh, limited to 10 minutes. Shouldn't be too big of a deal because I can't really imagine giving uh, feedback for longer than 10 minutes. The second one, which does have a larger impact, is the limit of only 50 videos a month. So that is something to consider. Now, if we take a look though, Screencastify, right, does have for just $25, $24, excuse me, a year, you can go premium, get unlimited recording length, unlimited number of videos. So that is an option, right, not too expensive, and it again, solves that problem. All right, so that is it. That is how to kick up your student learning with better feedback through videos using Screencastify in Classroom. Again, this tech tip is on fire. It is really going to help your student learning. Um, I love it. I would love to hear how it goes in your classroom. Share with comments below. Find me on Twitter at Mr. Mike Koff and share how this is impacting you and your students' learning. Good luck.